So, my friends, what's up? We're working from home, we're being safe. Germs get out of the way because I'm inside my home bubble. Yeah, I know I haven't, haven't been here. I've been trying to find a way to word what I'm about to say in the most sensitive way because I know people have lost their jobs. They're not working. I'm extremely grateful to have a job, but I have been really freaking busy at work. So I'm going to go to Costco right now and then I don't know if we're gonna work out later. It's really unmotivating to work out um, just in general. I don't know, my body is having a hard time being like, let's get out of pajamas, let's get moving. It's really hard, um, but we've worked out the last two days. We've done some strength training because we got a barbell, which was awesome. Um, and I do have a gym here in my apartment that like pff, no one uses, literally no one. Um, so we wipe everything down and we go in there. It's actually kind of depressing. There's like, it's it's sad. I really miss my gym. I, I took it for granted. I'll be the first one to mention that and admit that. So anyway, I'm gonna leave. Oh, so I don't have gloves. Can you tell me if I'll look stupid? Just, will I look dumb? I just want to know. Oh my gosh, it is whoa, so hot from the task that I just did. I just, okay, went to Costco, feeling good because I only spent $50 and I think the key to Costco is you just buy like protein stuff there because it's actually well priced. Eggs are like really expensive everywhere. Like I went to Trader Joe's and like a pack of 12 eggs, or I'm sorry, no, yeah, a pack of 12 eggs was like almost $5. I was like, why? Costco has 24 eggs. This was like $8.49, so I'm cool with it. Um, they're cage-free. I don't know if that means they're organic, but um, slim pickings out there, and especially when your budget's tight, you don't really care where it's from as long as it's food. I don't even, <laughs> so stupid. I don't even want to explain what's behind me. I was trying to mock a gallery wall, but um, it literally, like I just, I'm so terrible at this stuff. I'm trying to make use of what I already have so like I don't have to buy a bunch of new stuff, but <sighs> yeah, it's, I'm just not. I'm not good at this. I am going to go to Trader Joe's and yes, I know this is the second day in a row that I'm going to get groceries, but like I, I need to get groceries and Costco's, Costco's too expensive for one person. So I'm going to go to Trader Joe's. I also have to drop something off at an Amazon hub. Um, I just discovered that I have gloves. I have gloves, they're in my first aid kit. Um, so I'm gonna use these. And I'm gonna try and make like a makeshift mask. I feel like I can do it. I don't really have a bandana, but I have like a really like thick headband. I'm a genius! Oh my god. Oh, I mean, it's like kind of sticking out the sides and it kind of hurts my ears. But I mean, hey. I'm trying something new where I pick out like three recipes for the week and I only bought groceries to fulfill those three recipes basically for dinner. Um, so I'm gonna make one of them tonight. If you follow me on Instagram, shameless plug. I love half Big Harvest. Absolutely love all of her recipes. They're just, they're so good. She's my type of gal. So much flavor. Um, and for the most part, like I've been loving Asian food lately. You need like the same seven to 10 ingredients, which is great. So tonight I'm doing sheet pan Korean chicken bowl with sweet potatoes and yum yum sauce. Yes, it's literally called yum yum sauce. I'm excited. I'm making some rice in my rice maker. Um, I'm gonna start chopping up the sweet potatoes, I've got chicken, all the other ingredients. I was like, you know what? I'll just bring them along for the ride, might as well. Let's start cooking. 
You want to explain what just happened? I'm hairy. Well, no one's complaining about your hairiness, to be honest. I like your scruff. This kimchi was filled to here and it exploded literally everywhere. But yeah, can you take a bite and tell me what you think? This is the yum yum sauce. What's the yum yum sauce? It's this sauce with yogurt and some salt. You invented it? No. I wish. I'm not that good at anything to invent something, unfortunately. But... Oh, Thank yeah. you, babe. You're super welcome, dude. I love cooking for you. I love eating for you. Ta ta. Yeah. That's all for now. I agree. 10 out of 10. Half big harvest is always the best. Look at that. Majestic mounted. TV. I mean, my goodness. It's just too cool. I don't know why it just feels like mounted TV means like you're on a different level of like homeowner or renter. It's like, I mounted my TV. Okay, I didn't mount my TV. Marcus did. How he was mounting the TV was like mind blowing to me. I currently have no internet in my apartment. Big surprise, we've been here before. When I got my internet, um, when I first moved in here, it like wouldn't work. I think it has something to do with being in a dead zone. But anyway, yesterday when Marcus was mounting the TV, um, he unplugged the internet and I didn't know he was going to unplug it or else I would have told him not to. So um, he unplugged it. We tried to work on it later. We called AT&T and they're like, we're gonna send somebody out there on Tuesday. And it was Sunday night and you know, Ooh, my banana bread's sweaty. And with everyone working from home, you know. <gasps> oh my god! It's beautiful, but I don't know if it's done. Maybe like a few more minutes. I've never made banana bread before, so I'll just keep an eye on it. So they can't come fix my internet till tomorrow, basically, which is not the end of the world because I'm very lucky. I can still go into my office if I want to. But like I just don't want to because I have an ear infection from Satan himself. I ended up going to Kaiser today to get another antibiotic. I talked to a doctor on Friday, I talked to a doctor today, both very nice. And all the nurses that were running out to the cars to take your prescription order and fill it and came back, they're just so, so, so sweet. And like, I just remember being like, think, and I just like, Obviously I'm in a lot of pain and I'm like kind of short tempered, but I really, really, really was like, Sasha, you are going to thank them for what they're doing because like I'm having a tough time with my ear, but like they're dealing with the madness of it. And so I was just like to my doctor this morning on the phone, I was like, thank you so much for your help. I know you guys are so busy. And she was like, oh my gosh, stop. We love to help you. And I'm like, ah, bless your heart. And even the nurses say they were like, we love our job, like we love helping. What did we do to deserve you? It's like nurses and dogs, nicest people. We have to discuss. My boss is too sweet. I was very stressed out 
the last few weeks getting all of our deadlines for all of our clients and just like listen to how cute this is she sent me a care package this sweet woman sasha treat yourself she literally put yo apostrophe self to a little me time rest relax and ah uh, she got me like a bath bomb she got me like relaxing eucalyptus lotion she got me a little candle which maybe i'll light right now she got me a tomato mask oh an acne fighting paper mask hey i like that because i struggle with acne and she also got me a sleeping mask that's very cute too and she got me like this really comfy jacket it's actually everlast it's super random but it's just like a blue fuzzy jacket and i'm really into it i don't know it's just like it's just comfy look at this look at how massive this thing is oh my god it's so beautiful i mean it's probably gonna get a little bit smaller but oh so beautiful i'm so excited to try this banana bread, uh, banana bread. i didn't really have anything to put it on except for this Christmassy looking pan but oh my god look at it it kind of just reminds me of cake honestly this is by half baked harvest like everything I ever post on my Instagram that I cook is from her. I just, I love her so much. Her recipes are so good. I've been living on my own in this place for like a month and a half now and I've made so many of her recipes and none of them have failed me. I made a really good one for Marcus a few nights ago, maybe a week ago, a week ago. And he kept saying, oh my God, I just can't believe it after every bite. Like that's how good she is. So this is her banana bread. It has almond butter in it. Like I swirled almond butter in it. And it also has chocolate chunks too. She said chocolate chips, but I was like, girl, please. We ain't rookies, chocolate chunks. Okay, so I just wanna have a little bit because I obviously wanna have some with Marcus later and I don't wanna be like, I had a piece, sorry. Dude. Wow. That is so good. Oh my. Mm. Damn. Yes? Babe. Mm -hmm. This banana bread is so good. Good job. No, but like, I only had a little bit because okay. I want to have some with you later, but it's really good. Okay. Love you. Okay. So I let you know. Thank you for letting me know. You're welcome. Ta-ta. Okay. Take care. Love you. All nice and clean. So... This is all of Marcus's stuff. He's such a sweet boy and keeps it all piled nicely in the corner. And I don't, I just don't have a place for him to put it right now. Um, but I'm hoping after I organize my cabinets, I will. I took everything that was in this basket, which was like yoga mat, a bunch of cables, some like workout equipment, camera equipment, and I just put my sweatshirts in it. And then I put a bag of clothes that I'm going to give away, sell once things go back to normal, and my gym bag that has literally no purpose right now. Um, but I, I haven't done anything in my room. Like I ordered this rug. I printed out the return label to ship it back because I just don't like the color. It's like not white. It's like a natural. And I think with my style, it's just not going to go. I think it's taking away from how pretty my bedspread is. Um, I'm not keeping these yellow pillows. This print isn't going to go. So I was kind of going for more of like a boho, modern thing in here, but realized that I need to stick with the modern farmhouse vibe. I don't know why I was trying to defer from that. So right now I'm going to organize a little bit more. I have some other things I would like to do. All these cables and stuff, I actually use these little uh, like hair ties or like little elastic hair ties, teeny tiny ones. And I basically wrap everything, and that's what keeps it organized. Oh, that's my... I was like, what's that big black thing? It's my teeny. 
So this is what I'm currently dealing with. I feel like I'm ashamed at how messy it's just gotten and I have barely even lived here. I just need to figure out how to do this. We are about halfway there. I'm gonna pause so I can show you the mess that I've made. So, I have done the top cabinet which has a bunch of fake plants and um, pillows and a bag of all the stuff I have from Marcus at the very top. And then I have in this pink bag like a bunch of purses that I don't necessarily use but I still like plus like backpacks. I ended up hanging the rest of my purses on S-hooks in my closet because I don't know I just like really didn't feel like keeping them up there in storage because they were kind of getting deformed. I'm not keeping all this stuff down here. I'm going to take it out in a second, but um, I went through like all of my like mismatched, just like home improvement stuff that I have a bunch of stuff that I can actually return to Home Depot. I put it all in this little box. So return to Home Depot. So I put all that in there, but all that is trash gonna put my camera equipment that's all my freaking gym equipment I'm like oh my goodness what am I gonna do with all of this all done I feel so accomplished right now like this is so much better I got all the shoes on the bottom cleaning supplies toilet paper laundry detergent my camera gear you know like home improvement stuff my purse workout stuff Marcus's camera gear and then yeah, my purses, toiletries, fake plants and stuff, and I just feel like it's just so much better. Um, I didn't want to put some of the weights in the cabinets just because they're really heavy, so I just kind of put them in this little corner right here. But now I'm going to vacuum, or Swiffer dust, I guess. Pretty empty and clean, and uh, yeah, that's, that's how it's going to be for now. Oh. oh, so carbonated for me. Whew. TGIF. I'm taking a little break to go work out. I really don't have that much more work to do. I usually end up working on the weekends just because there is nothing else to do. I've been doing, I'm like, I've been doing, I did yesterday a workout uh, from Natasha Ocean's Instagram. I... I just love her stuff. And there was like definitely a few moves where I was like, am I not athletic anymore? Because <laughs> it looked really easy, but it was really hard. They only take like less than 30 minutes, which is nice. So I usually just do a little jog on the treadmill to warm up and jog to cool off. That's pretty much all I have to update. I'll bring you guys with me in the gym. I'll show you what I'm doing. It's not that exciting, but hey, content. Am I right? <laughs>
Um, it was hard the last round because I like didn't take a break and I did figure out that I needed to like squeeze my butt at the top at one of the moves but two of the moves didn't really do anything. They almost were like a rest and they were like back to back and I was just kind of like, I don't like these. Every other workout I've like done from her has been so good and she's She's real creative and intelligent with her workout. So, I'm gonna take a shower now. I'm hot, it's hot in my apartment. But um, yeah, that was only 20 minutes. And um, 